It's so wet out here today. It's like a giant puddle outside my apartment. Okay guys, today I'm gonna to talk about something that's near and dear to my heart, how to avoid procrastination. And here are some tips that I've- Oh, you know what? I haven't called Ivan in a while. I probably should call him. Hello. Hey, Ivan. Good man, what's going on? Sorry about that. So you basically, to avoid procrastination, there's a couple of things you gotta do. It's just that, oh, hang on a sec, I gotta. I shouldn't leave those dishes in the sink like that. That's... Step one, the easiest way to get stuff done is to look at what you gotta do and then break it down into a few smaller tasks. So that way you kinda go, tick, I've done this one, tick, I've done that one. And eventually it feels like you're moving forward and you're not procrastinating so much. The second tip I've got, and this is unfortunately, there's no secret to this, is just to get started doing the work. Once I get into the groove, once I sit down at the computer, once I start doing the work or whatever I gotta do, it's fine. It's just that in your mind, you just sort of try and uh, outsmart yourself from doing the work. As a creative person, I always, I always overthink what I gotta do before I start doing it. And the third tip is to actually give yourself a reward for doing something. So in my case, what I normally do is if I complete a certain amount of tasks, I usually give myself some sort of reward, like a couple of hours watching an episode of something that I like to watch, or maybe a chocolate bar. Massive shout out to Pete Campbell, whose birthday it was yesterday. Happy birthday, buddy. Okay, guys, I'll see you next time. Hello? Hey, how's it going? No, I'm not doing anything, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I can finish this tomorrow. All right, yeah, man, I'll, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah, I'll see you soon.